Hi, I'm Josh Lake, a freelance editor and colorist, and this is Into the Crayon Box. Now I'd like to take this time to let you know what exactly we're going to be learning. Now of course, you know you're going to be learning about color. Well, what exactly do I mean by that? Well, color permeates a lot more than you would think. Now when we talk about color, we're not just talking about red, green, you know, the hue. We're also talking about how saturated, desaturated it is. We're talking about how light or dark it is. And once you understand all the basic concepts, as well as some more advanced concepts, not only can you change the mood, make it feel grim, or make it feel happy, you can also completely manipulate the image just using your lightness, darkness, and your colors. I can show you how to use warm and cool tones to make a character seem closer to the camera than they are, to make the background seem further away from the character. I can compress a room or expand a room just by using cool and warm. So scientifically speaking, all color is light. Different wavelengths of light make different colors. And our eyes are designed to see three different colors red, green, and blue. So any combination of these three colors give us all the colors that we can perceive. That's also why there are red, green, and blue pixels on your computer screen. Another way to look at it, another group of three other than RGB, is HSL, which is hue, saturation, and lightness. Now the terms I'm going to be using most often are hue, chroma, and luma, but they're the same thing. So hue is where on the color wheel the color is. Is it red? Is it blue? Is it magenta? Anywhere in between? That's the hue. Now how much of that color is the saturation or the chroma? With chroma, you can go from completely gray to completely colored and anywhere in between. Now luma is the light or dark. It's the lightness. So you can go from completely black to completely white. So you combine these three in any combination you want, and that's another way to get any color that we can perceive. You can do absolutely anything you want with color. It is the most versatile tool that you have in any visual medium. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you stay on for the rest of the series.